Marco in last video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cook the Koras curry. So let's get right in the video. But before we get right in the video, let's try to get 50 likes on this video and make sure you guys are subscribed. And let's get right in the video now. In the meantime, the fish is cooling out in the water. And we have the rice here boiling here. By the time the fish there is um, cooling out, so um, the rice is boiling, and let's get right into the video now of how to make the fish curry. So we are straining the water from the rice now. We took one cup of hot water and boil it for 10 minutes and put it inside of the fish to take out the bacteria and the sliminess from the fish. Now you're going to mix it up and you're going to drain out the water. Then you're going to cut two limes now and you're going to squeeze that into the fish. Now you're going to add one tablespoon of salt into the fish and the lime and then now you're going to take a knife and scrape out the sliminess from the fish and take the lime and rub it out. Now you're going to wash it out back now and rinse it out thoroughly and wait for, it to, for the water to drain out. So that we're gonna peel an onion and cut it up into small pieces. I'm gonna add that with the onion with your green seasoning and the fine leaf thyme along with two peppers you're gonna chip the two peppers up into small pieces you're gonna add one teaspoon of mixed masala along with three spoon of sojata curry powder and you're gonna throw half measuring cup of oil and you're gonna mix up your masala dough with the curry powder and the seasoning then you're gonna throw it inside of your pot with the oil and let that there cook for about until uh, it's fried up good and you're gonna mix it up now Now you're going to add your kuras into the pot with the masala and let that bunji there, that's what the Tom we use in Guyana, or cook. Add one teaspoon of salt. some black pepper some of the complete seasoning season maggi cube you're going to break that up very fine into the pot you're going to mix it up I'm going to add some maggi oil for seasoning. I'm going to mix again. I'm going to want the lettuce to cook for about 
20 to 30 minutes we're gonna take our grease coconut and we're gonna squeeze that in some water to get out the milk and we're gonna throw aside the hocks there in a plate and you're gonna throw that now into your pot after the grass there is cooked for 20 to 30 minutes and you're going to squeeze it out there make sure you guys use a strainer if you're doing this and you're going to mix it up now you guys know when you have to cook korraska or your fish curry you have to have your um, mango inside you're gonna let so let's cook pick the for mango 30 from minutes. the fridge so i've got one here so I'm a big two and I'm gonna go back now to the kitchen. You're gonna to wanna to cut up some very young okras, just like what's my mom doing here. And how many tomatoes you guys want? We're using two. I'm gonna chip that up very fine along with your mango here is the vegetable that we have to throw in the pot throw in your vegetables your mango, your okra, and your tomatoes. So We're gonna now let that cook for 10 minutes. Here. After 10 minutes, this is what it should look like. This it's is the finishing hot, product of I the Kuras curry. Um, if you guys like that, so if you guys like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next.